With Anime Studio Pro, you have three different options you can work with when it comes to tracing an image. Or in other words, converting an image into a vector shape so that you can manipulate its points, use the drawing tools, the fill tools, and animate it out like you could any other drawing in Anime Studio. So first, we will need an image to work with. So we can go up here to File, Import, and then Image. Here, I'll just choose the ship image I have, and then click Open. So now we have a basic image on the screen, and make sure that that image is selected, and then go up to Draw, Trace Image. So now, what you have here is a window that allows you to do three different things. You can convert the image into a black and white vector graphic, a color vector graphic, or you can do what is called photo edges. So let's take a look at what each of these can do for us. So first, black and white will convert the image into a vector, but disable the colors, basically. You can see here, once I go to black and white, I can choose the threshold, detail reduction, and fatten lines. If I lower the threshold, you can see that there is less going on with the image. Right here is your preview. And if I go all the way down, there's basically nothing on screen right now. If I go all the way up, it looks like we have a silhouette. So it really just depends on how you want to approach this. There's no right or wrong. It really just depends on your needs and the style of your cartoon. So let's go, let's just say, right about here for right now. Now for detail reduction, the more you have this turned up, the less detail you'll have, and vice versa. Now more detail doesn't always mean better looking images. In fact, you may come across situations where less details means a better resulting vector graphic that comes out of your image. So that's something that you'll need to play around with as well as fatten lines. You can see fattening the lines can really basically increase the outlines that your image has when converting it into a vector graphic. So once you're done, you can click OK, and you can see now that the image has been converted. Now from here, you could take, for instance, your Transform Points tool. You come in here and you could manipulate the points, basically do whatever you want with this. You could even take your Paint Bucket tool, choose a color here, click OK, and you could even fill in different parts of the object here, if you desire. So that's what black and white can do. So let's remove this vector shape from the layers panel. You can see that it retains the image, it just hides it. So if something doesn't go right, you can always remove the traced vector layer and then bring back your image and try it again. So we will select that image, go up to draw and choose trace image. Now we will pick color. Now color will try to retain as many colors as you dictate from the image. So you'll probably discover as you use this that less colors will yield better results. So keep that in mind when you're designing your images or choosing your images for Anime Studio. You can increase the number of colors all the way to 10. And you can see a preview of how this will look right here. Less colors, of course, will have different results. You can see I have some in-between going on here. And it just depends, again, on where you want it. So we'll try that. Detail reduction is the same as before. You can have more details, less details, and so forth. You can see, for example, that right here, if I put the details all the way up, there's actually not so much of a separation with the colors as there appears to be in the actual image. So sometimes you'll want to play around with this just to determine what is best. And you can also choose to have outlines as well. And once you've selected your options, you click OK, 
and you can see now it has been converted and it retains colors and you can now manipulate it just like you could before with the black and white trace. Now, since the colors aren't exact, you may want to come in here, you know, with, for instance, your select shape tool and select different shapes and you could adjust the colors. For instance, we could come on here, maybe the blue needs to be darker or more vibrant. You can click OK and you could go in and adjust all that stuff and you could connect points and form your lines if they're not all the way connected and just basically manipulate it and get it up to par with how you want it for your animation. So finally, there is the last option, which is Photo Edges. And Photo Edges, as you can see here, just kind of creates more of a stylized look for your image. Right now it looks white with basically edges or photo edges. And as you adjust the threshold, you can see you can go all the way so it has that silhouette effect again. But we could scale it back all the way too so that there's no lines. It just almost looks like it's just a white piece of paper, as an example. Of course, there's everything in between. Just depends on what you are looking for, for your animation. And that's really the only thing you can adjust here. You can see that detail reduction and fatten lines are here, but you can't actually do anything else with them. So once you have adjusted your threshold, you can click OK, and you can see now what this looks like. Again, it's a little bit more abstract. It looks a little bit more stylized, and it's just one more option you have when it comes to tracing your images. With this option, you'll probably want to go in thinking that you're going to then color everything in yourself, sort of like black and white. But anyway, that is what tracing images can do for you. Again, try different images. Different images will have different results. It depends on the colors and the details of the image. But the bottom line is you can easily bring any image into Anime Studio and trace it so that it can be used as a vector graphic in your animated projects.